Hi, I'm Mike, one of the in-group in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for November 11th, 2022. There's only three pre-orders to tell you guys about this week. They're all from the Lost Recordings. They're doing three titles that we should have sometime around December. But keep in mind, this is an import uh, from France, so sometime shipping is plus or minus uh, a couple of weeks. The first one is uh, Dave Brubeck, debut in the Netherlands. We also got Blossom Deary, the Lost Sessions from the Netherlands. And then uh, a Dizzy Gillespie concert live in 83. All three of those are available on the website right now for pre-order. All right, so let's get into the new arrivals. This is all new arrivals. I don't really think I have any restocks. There's no what not to show you about. It's all new arrivals. So let's start with the two new arrivals I was the most excited about. First, Alice Coltrane's Pata. This is part of the new Verve by Request series. So I listened to this earlier. It's cut by Ryan K. Smith at Sterling. Sounded fantastic. Uh, I was really impressed how good this record sound. I uh, quick listening here, but not a comparison, but off a of memory, I don't know if the original sounds this good, but really good. It's manufactured by Third Man. It's in a paper sleeve, you know, uh, a little dusty. It was a little dirty, but it sounded good. Now, this is the first two titles of this series. So this is essentially going to be the impulse, verb, you know, the, the non, you know, the non audio file, the titles that aren't going to be in an audio, done in an audio file manner. Let's uh, put it that way. Verb by Request was a series they did, I want to say in the late 80s, maybe it stopped in the 90s, to where they did some more obscure type of titles. Roy Brooks Beat. This I have not got a chance to listen to. They both came only in a couple hours ago. That was the first, Pata was the first one I put on. I'll give this one a listen to next. Uh, this is not a cheap record if you find an original. This is an expensive record. But uh, yeah, it's got that manufactured by, at Third Man in Detroit, 180 gram audiophile quality for what that's worth. Audiophile quality should have resulted in a polyline inner sleeve. It didn't, but uh, yeah, I'm anticipating a huge demand for both of these, especially the Alice Coltrane. Originals of that, clean, maybe six bills, five, six hundred bucks if you can find one. Okay, this week's King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard, we've got Changes. This is on recycled black wax, and like a lot of the King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard records lately, it kind of has this cardboard type cover. And there's actually another jacket inside. This plastic is actually added by me just to put the sticker on because price tag because it doesn't actually come shrinked. So the way you uh, would normally get it would be just this brown paper. This is going to be uh, a pretty popular title. They're doing a lot of these uh, Nathaniel Merriweather reissues. They go for an insane amount of money if you can find originals. This is Lovelage. This is the instrumental version. Feels like a double disc, but I want to say the normal version of this record, I mean hundreds and hundreds of dollars, not cheap. This is the instrumental version. Let's see, music to make love to your old lady by. But yeah, there it is. This is a Record Store Day exclusive title, if I'm not mistaken. It doesn't say it on there, but I'm almost positive this is. I ordered this a long, long time ago, and I want to say it was billed as a Record Store Day exclusive title. All right. I guess let me show you this uh, SACD. This is... Uh, Wagner, this is the Golden Ring. This is a brand new SACD. This is using the original DECA ring cycle. Newly remastered from a completely new set of high definition 24 bit 192 transfers of the original master tapes and sounding better than ever before. So, yeah, it's got Ride of the Valkyries on it. Let's see. A little blur by Stereophile. Yeah, popular ring cycle. Jamiroquai, Dynamite on Sony Music. It's cool that they're seeming to do a lot of these Jamiroquai reissues. Okay, so multiple versions of this. So we've got Guns N' Roses, Use Your Illusion. We've got volume, what is this, two? Yeah, this is volume two. 
with uh, knocking on heaven's door. I think that's probably the big track on this. And then we also have Use Your Illusion Volume 1, which had November Rain, right? Is that the big hit on this? Yeah, November Rain. Okay, so let me read you the hype sticker. This is first ever remaster from the original analog tapes. I have no idea what that means. All we know is the original manu analog tapes were sourced at some point in time to manufacture this. I will say too, uh, I've got word that the Thriller, Mobile Fidelity Thriller One Steps are gonna be shipping to me hopefully sometime this week. So it seems like that's gonna be one of those Mobile Fidelity titles that I'm gonna get out on time. So Mobile Fidelity Thriller One Step did a shootout of it, sounds fantastic. If you don't have a pre-order in for that, it's a great title. Robert Glasper, Glasper, this is the Super Deluxe Deluxe Black Radio. I think it's a three disc set. So you've got the original album, bonus tracks, and the remix EP. Forgot about the box set. Look at this thing, holy cow. This is a lot of box set. Use Your Illusion. Oh my God, 12 LPs, 180 gram, Blu-ray, 97 total tracks, 63 unreleased tracks. Uh, put this down. Breaking elbow. Live in Las Vegas, 1991, and live in Vegas, 1992. Two unreleased concert albums, newly remixed from the original multi-tracks, first ever complete concert albums, uh, four and a half hours of Guns N' Roses Live. So you've got Live in New York, Concert on Blu-ray, originally shot on 35 millimeter film. I bet you that sounds pretty good. Mixed in surround and stereo. Custom book. And then all kinds of collectibles. Posters, photos, tchotchkes galore. You can see there's a uh, significant amount of stuff in here. Let's see if I can get this to. But yeah, you got that stuff there. The front is kind of cool. It's not like a lenticular. But if you turn it one way, you're going to see volume one. If you turn it the other way, you're going to see volume two. Okay. Ah. New Blue Note Classic. I think this was supposed to come out a week or two ago, but got delayed. This is Charlie Hunter's, the Charlie Hunter Trio, Bing, Bing, Bing. This is a newer jazz title. So if you want to listen to something that has been recorded, now this came out in 95, but if you want to listen to a jazz title that wasn't recorded in the 50s, 60s, or early 70s, Maybe give Charlie Hunter a trio a try. On Blue Note. All right, we got two different versions of this. Girl School. And I cannot tell you the difference. Uh, check them out on the website. Don't know the difference between the two of these. But there's two of them with two different barcodes. Big, giant, printed barcodes. I don't really know what the deal is there. All right. Everybody's holiday favorite, Mannheim Steamroller, Christmas in the air. It's kind of a cool foil cover. Oh, cool foil back as well. Yeah. The Blues Act, Larkin Poe. I think this is their newest album, Blood Harmony. Yeah. Pretty cool band, now check them out on YouTube. What is this? Revolting Cox, Beer Steers and Quivers, I'm guessing that is? Oh, oh, not Quivers. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, QV on, uh, on the front there, covered by the sticker. But, and then on the back, but on the spine it's a QU. On Cleopatra. All right, Ride, this is four EPs. This is an import, we brought this in from the United Kingdom. Looks like four EPs on a double white vinyl, two LP set with a 16 page booklet. For all you Bruce Springsteen fans out there, I've got two versions of Bruce's newest album, Covers Volume One. Hmm. 
Looks like he's actually doing covers. What becomes of the brokenhearted? Someday we'll be together. Only the strong survive. But uh, yeah, we got two different versions of this. We've got standard, which I'm assuming this is the black vinyl version. And then we also have Sundance orange vinyl. Bruce is almost looking, uh, I wouldn't, I don't know how to describe this photo. Maybe is it Photoshop? Is he going for a retro look? I don't really know what's going on there. It looks almost, uh, almost fake, I guess would be my best way of describing that. All right, Suki Waterhouse. This is the new album uh, on Sub Pop. This is the Loser Edition, which is the first pressing limited edition colored vinyl. Uh, Milk Teeth is the name of this album. Oh, let's see. Merry Christmas, love. This is the first ever holiday album from Joss Stone. I feel like everybody's got a Christmas record now. I mean, it's, uh, I don't remember in the years past having a Christmas album for every band and every form of music. And Okay, so Tupac, All Eyes on Me. This is a four disc set. This is a newer pressing of it that costs twice as much as it used to. But it is a 4LP set, and I guess it is somewhat reasonable for a 4LP set. But this thing used to be like $25 back in the day. But, you know, you're not going to get 4LPs for $25 in 2022. But it is back in print, which is cool. Also, uh, Machiavelli is back in print as well. This, is, this was a double. Yeah. For all you two-pack fans, there you go. Yeah, this, uh, I wonder if this is going to sell here at this price. It's like a little less than 80 bucks. Hmm. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm sure there's some Tupac fans looking to get that on vinyl. Butcher Brown. Butcher Brown presents Triple Play. This is on Concord Jazz. I'm not familiar with this. Kind of looks like it's a hip-hop album. Includes a 7-inch with bonus tracks. Yeah, I guess that's what's moving around in there. We've got LS Dunes, Past Lives, limited edition packaging and orange crush vinyl. This has one of those like slip plastic slip cases that go over the LP jacket. Lindsay Styerling, Snow Waltz. This is the indie retail exclusive on Snowball Smoke Vinyl. Plus ornament. I guess there's an ornament in here. You can get your Lindsay Sterling ornament. And uh, yeah, you got a new tree. She's actually from the area. The Phoenix native, or Metro Phoenix native. We've got, I guess this is, uh, okay, so this is a Butcher Brown Triple Tray. This is the indie exclusive on Opaque Blue Vinyl, limited to 2000. I mean, it does not look like a jazz album. I'm not familiar with this at all, but it is a jazz album. You've got sax, keyboards, drum, multiple sax, flute players. Interesting. Yeah. Keyboards, bass, drums, rolling. Hmm. Okay. The Ataris. End is forever. This is on blue vinyl. Built, excuse me, <laughs> Bullet for My Valentine. Let's see, deluxe edition red and black splatter vinyl includes new bonus tracks. This is, I'm guessing this is their self-titled album. We've got Bad Religion. This is How Could Hell Be Any Worse. This is a limited anniversary edition on colored vinyl. On Epitaph Records, this is translucent clear with black. This is the description on the barcode for, you know, whatever that's worth. Dropkick Murphys on crystal clear vinyl. 
The machine still kills fascists. Lyrics of Woody Guthrie. We've got enough stuff. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. This is Welcome to Blue Island on Blue Vinyl. Golden Earring, The Naked Truth. This is a music on vinyl exclusive to 2,000 copies on gold vinyl. This is number 1451. Kind of looks like a, yeah, it has like a, almost like a leathery type textured cover. Double LP. Hank 3, Straight to Hell. This is limited edition blood splatter red vinyl, 2 LP set. It includes a poster. We also have a run of silver chair. These are all pretty limited. They did 1,500 of these on ah, music on vinyl. This one is on black, white, and translucent red marble. This is Abuse Me, number 377. I've got Cemetery, 1,500. This is number 1169 on silver green marbled vinyl. We've also got, actually, that's what is that, a 12 inch originally? This is on um, purple and white marble vinyl. This is the door. These are kind of all textured covers as well. Look pretty well done. Freak. 1500 copies on orange and white marble vinyl. It's number 900 on the nose. Freak Show. Of course, they made more of these. This is limited to 5,000. This is 1,899. This includes a poster. Okay. Sports Team. Gulp. Limited edition die cut sleeve, 180 gram blue vinyl. Leon Thomas. All right, let's see what we got here. This is from Repress uh, from the Flying Dutchman. Originally released Flying Dutchman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Hmm. I feel like I have this album at home, but I can't tell you the last time I listened to it. A lot of good titles on Flying Dutchman. Really good label. Scott Weiland, The Most Wonderful Time of the Year. On Green Vinyl Limited Edition to 3000. Includes Xmas, War Is Over. Christmas time is very close. I don't believe I'm going to have this for very long, if not at all, be time you watch this. Uh, this is Lewis Tomlinson's new album. This is on black and red spl splatter vinyl. The name of the album is Faith in the Future, but it includes an autograph signed card. So, uh, yeah, it's, the autograph stuff is sometimes really, really limited. But I have it now. Now, that's what I call music, R&B and Christmas. We got John Lennon doing Silver Bells, Stevie Wonder doing Someday at Christmas, Marvin Gaye, The Supremes, Jackson 5, Boys to Men. This is a pretty good comp, actually, The Temptations. This is a double LP. Comps, you know, I'm not a huge comp fan, but for Christmas, different story. This was delayed from last week. I got volume two. Shipment was delayed for volume one, but this completes it. We've got Prince, the hits volume one, and I've got volume two in stock probably as well still. So, two, two set, four LP, get all your, Chris, your Prince greatest hits. All right, Kate Bush, Never Forever. I feel like this is a new, you know, this isn't a restock for us, but maybe they just put this back in print. I don't really know. Okay, here is a Record Store Day Essential title. That's why I thought that uh, Lovage was a Record Store Day Essential. I'm almost positive it is, but this actually has the sticker. This is Stormy Monday Blues, T-Bone Walker. I absolutely love this cover. This is on opaque white vinyl. This is one of the uh, Sun Record Company exclusives. Check it out. I love the cover. Even like, look at that photo on the back. Good record. Okay. Steve Lacey. 
Gemini writes. We also got, I seen these uh, guys on the Tonight Show, or it was one of those live shows, Jazz Record, and it's actually, this was really good. So I'm going to be taking this home. I think I got an indie exclusive as well, or maybe this is the indie exclusive, and I got the other one. Uh, for some reason, it's not in here. But I've got an indie exclusive, and I got a standard black vinyl. This is on Blue Note. This is Domi and J.D. Beck. The debut album by, but they were really good. But check this out. I don't know how do you get a debut album, and you get Herbie Hancock, Thundercat, Anderson Pack. Hmm. What if I did a record? Do you think I get these guys to show up? Call up Herbie, like, hey man, doing my debut. I, I need you to come jam, <laughs> come jam with me on this record. But uh, yeah, this is really good. What I've heard from this album is really good. Mac DeMarco, what is this, Thundercat, really good, really good, okay, The Human League, this is the Virgin Years box set, so we've got one, two, three, four, five albums, Romantic, Crash, Hysteria, Fascination, and Dare, they're all on different color records, yes, yeah, so we got Crystal, Red, Yellow, Lime, and Turquoise. So, you know, you got all your Human League records. And not the biggest box set I showed you today, but the last box set I'm going to show you today because this is the last record of this week's new arrival. That's interesting. They put it in upside down. So this is Eric Clapton, the complete reprise studio albums, volume one. Uh, they actually put it, <laughs> they put it in backwards there. But, uh, yeah, you've got Money and Cigarettes, Behind the Sun, August Journeyman, From the Cradle, and Pilgrim. Plus the new previously unreleased compilation, Rarities, mastered by Bob Ludwig. Lacquers cut by Chris Bellman at Bernie Grunman Mastering. That probably is going to be pretty good sounding. All right, guys, check us out online at www.theingroove.com. Until next time.